Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm just going to do something really simple. We're just going to tie two elk hair caddis patterns, uh, two different variations of how it can be done. Nothing crazy, no huge intro. Just going to show you that they're easy flies and you can bang out a whole bunch of them quickly if you need to get out of the water. So we'll take her down to the vise and I will show you how to get these flies done. So the first one we're going to start on a size 12 dry fly hook. I've already pinched the barb. We'll be using UTC 70 in um, light olive. Just do a normal dressing of the hook. Start a little bit behind the eye. Give it a good coat the whole way down the hook. Bring her back once. I like to give it a just a good quick layer of thread. Cut off your tag end. Then we'll do a quick dubbing body. I'm doing this just in like kind of a peacock green color. Like I said, these are just quick flies. Doesn't take much. Kind of try to get a tapered dubbing noodle on your thread. Work it up the hook. Of course. That ended up being pretty close to perfect. I'm going to do a tiny bit more there. There we go. Next is, it's going to use a CDC feather. This one is in olive. Just need a single feather, which I've already taken out. So just stroke all the fibers, kind of collect them and make them just try to get it to be slightly longer. I find these feathers to be a real pain in the butt to sit flat, but just slightly longer than the body. A couple wraps in there. That one's sitting nicely on top. Cut that out of there. You can kind of work it a little bit if you have to, back and forth to see you get it to sit exactly where you want. Doesn't have to be crazy perfect. Next is just good old bleached elk hair. Small little clump like that. I'm going to grab it by the tips. I'm going to quickly just run my fingers through it and you can see all the crud that's coming out of there already. That's fine. You want to get as much out of there as humanly possible, even on the other, other, other end on the tips. I like to have a comb. Anything you lose wasn't meant there to be any in there anyways. I'm going to dump that into a hair stacker. Get all those tips aligned. Kind of measure it just a little bit longer than that CDC was. One of the tricks I like to do is when I got my measurement, I like to cut it. I'm going to pre-cut it. So I've kind of pre-cut it there. I'm going to bind this up a little bit. One loose one. Slightly tighter. Holding that hair up. Nice and tight. Holding it up in the air. 
through the butts a couple times and then you can let go and what that's done is it's already created our head a couple wraps in front four turn whip finish Cut your thread. And there is a CDC Elcare Caddis. Super quick. So I will get ready for the next fly and I'll be right back. Okay, so next fly. We have a size 16 curved dry fly hook, uh, barbless. We're gonna use the exact same thread, UTC 70 light olive. We will start the thread right behind the eye and just give it a quick base not all the way down this time we'll cut it off so one of the this with this fly we want to really make sure that we keep unwinding our thread and keeping it super flat so we'll take it a little ways down here and right about there we're going to tie in a hand stripped polished quill this one is an olive I'm going to tie it with the dull side facing myself. And then just wrap that down, not too far. Again, if you have to, just take this bobbin, spin it out, make sure the thread stays really flat. And then capture that thing. I quill the whole way back up. Make all that disappear. And then now this is what we're going to do. We kind of just want to make a taper with our thread. So again, just make sure this thread stays super flat. There we go. Look at that. Nice and wide. We can build that taper coming up. The only consuming time consuming part of this fly is just making sure your thread stays correct. We don't have to make this huge. It's more or less just important that it's even. Okay, so now that I've done that, take the quill. And I'm just going to hand wrap this. Some people might find it easier. With hacko pliers, whatever works for you. I know one thing that would be super convenient, and if you have one, is a bobbin holder to keep your bobbin out of your way. I don't have one. I don't have my new vise yet. Hopefully in my next video for you guys, I'm tying on something cooler. But just keep wrapping that quill up the shank. This part's a little tedious too, I guess. I guess I lied. This wasn't isn't nearly as fast as the other one. But you know what? This one's kind of fun to tie. Definitely a couple more materials. You'll be able to see the segmentation on this. <clears throat> body a heck of a lot more once I get my finger out of the way. Alright, so once you get up to you know, right about there, capture that. Cut it off. Make sure it's in there pretty well. You don't want to go too crazy, too tight. You can actually cut right through it. Um, time for some good old bleach elk hair again. Get a good little chunk off the hide there. Cut it again. 
get that out of there. Of course, again, we're just going to clean it. We're going to lose a whole bunch here. Well, that's kind of the point. Make that comb work for you. I don't know why I'm holding this so close to the camera. You can never clean this too much. See all the fuzzies on that side too. I got a bunch of broken hairs in there, but it doesn't really matter. Into the stacker again for another stacking. Tips are all aligned, except for that one. So we'll get rid of it. So we want this hair to be end up. So I'm just going to pull one or two of these really bad hairs out of here. Helps to buy better quality hair. This is just some cheap stuff, but I'm cheap. So you want them to go just a little bit past the body, something like that. And then we'll switch hands. And this time we're not going to pre-cut it. Light wrap. Slightly harder wrap, and you want to make sure you're always holding that hair up, and holding it up on top of the hook. A little tighter every time, it's flaring like crazy, which is kind of the worst part about this fly. Because we actually want to pull that forward. And up, keep it on top of the hook shank. I'll actually I switch I switch hands to just cap try to capture it real quick. Oh, sometimes it's a pain in the butt. There we go. Still, you want to stroke all those up, but you want to kind of tighten that down. You're making kind of like a little, I'm just going to make a little thread section in there. Sometimes you got to wiggle, get everything back on top. It's all right if some end up on the bottom, we'll cut them out. So now we'll pull everything up. And just so I don't have to deal with this stuff anymore, I'm going to cut the head. There's still lots of room in front of the eye there. It looks crowded, but it'll be all right. So now we're going to take that same peacock green color dubbing. Real thin noodle on here. Actually, no, sorry. We're going to take a grizzly hackle first. Sorry, tie that in. I've already sized this for the hook, so you can kind of see the barbs will end up right down by the hook point from the shank. I'll strip some fibers off. Shiny side towards me. Tie that in. Cut off the excess stem without cutting your thread or anything silly. All right, now that dubbing.
Okay, dubbing's in there, take the hackle. Wrap forward. That's all I'm getting in there, capture it. Two real tight turns. Tips your th scissors in there. Cut it off. And if you can, I might just hand whip finish this. I'm not going to lie, I did crowd the eye a little bit, but for an instructional that's not terrible. I'd still actually fish that. So there's another one, a little twisty twist, probably not even staying in focus there. But there you go, two elk hair caddis patterns, hopefully in not a ridiculous amount of time. And I'll take her up top and sign out. There we go, guys. Two flies for the price of one. Uh, fairly simple ties. Second one's a little more complicated, but I think it's a really cool fly. First one is super simple. You could buy a pile of those out in just a matter of minutes. Um, as always, make sure you subscribe to the Friday Night Flies YouTube channel. Check out the Facebook group, Friday Night Flies. Uh, make sure you check out the webpage, www.fridaynightflies.com. And of course, check us out on Instagram as well, at Friday Night Flies. Uh, it's been a pleasure time for you guys, and I will check you out next time.